Welcome. The topic of this tutorial is going to be Arch Linux D. And as you know, we have three major projects. We have the Arch Linux ISO, the Arch Linux D, which we are going to work with now and install Budgie on it. And we have also the Arch Linux B, Budgie if you want to, but then you build it yourself or you download our build that we have created. The thing is, we developed Budgie first. So when you install the minimal ISO, Arch Linux D, you can add this one, that one, that one. All these desktops can be installed on top of it. And Budgie was the very, very first. So it's uh, YouTube number 50 or so. So we need to update because we're now at number 500 and it's still named Arch Merged which does not matter in, in essence because um, it's the still, still the same uh, software, the same ISO. It's a name change so you can follow all the Arch Merch YouTube videos as well. So it's an update of, um, well, a video about Arch Linux D installing then a Budgie. So the first thing we have to do and it says in the article here, well, login, pretty normal stuff here. But then never forget to update the mirror. So you get the fastest Arch, I say Arch Linux servers, because you know Arch Linux is 90% packages of Arch. That's done. So when we now do an update, we get everything in. And there are always updates, even when I built an ISO today, three hours later, there will be an update. That's Arch for you. Then, after that, we do this one. Why am I doing it not in one go? Because this does everything in one go. Um, because I want you to, I start to learn to think that update is the packages from Arch and Arco. And those will work. Generally, 100% they will work. But these guys, when you press this uh, command now, then the packages that come in are only from AWAR. That's the A behind, at the end there. So that's important that uh, you know the difference between an Arch Linux, Arco Linux, and AUR, Arch User Repository. These things often get broken because of many reasons often personal reasons. Anyway, that's been done. That's, those are the things you do first after an Arch Linux D installation and then it's fun time. We are gonna copy paste and copy paste is a command called git clone. And we're going to get all the scripts that we keep, maintain, spend hours to perfect. And we choose our Desktop, so Cinnamon, i3, BSPWM, Budgie. Ah yeah, let's do a typo, let's, let's include it in the video. Let's do a typo, right? Then you get username. If you see username, then you know you did a typo. Do it again. That's simple as that. We don't ask your password or your username and login and all that, no. So it just did something wrong. You cd to this um, folder and the first video is going to be about, well, phase two. I'll install everything with a number, starting with the smallest, ending with 910 in this case, but it will change in the future. We always will be updating these scripts. So if you see differences, don't, don't doesn't matter, just run the scripts. I encourage you to read it as well, but that's up to you. This one is a very important one. It's going to figure out, hey, how many cores does this system have? And we are working on a eight core, four cores to the host, four cores to the guest virtual box. And that's it. And we have now a faster system. It will compile, build, compress the packages from AUR faster. And then we're up to the Budgie. Now Budgie is a desktop. But without GNOME, you should install it. Without GNOME, an Archway installation, for instance, will show you that, that it's ugly. It's, it's not um, complete. So it needs, that Budgie needs GNOME to be a full, 
fledged desktop environment where you feel comfortable in. So that's um, something already to know. I do believe, let's have a look at phase five. Uh, or I still have to make it, I see. So the budgie and Arch Linux phase five is not done yet. We need to build it. On the to-do list, let's pause for the video here. Maybe an interesting uh, thing to show you, we are using budgie desktop git version. So there are two versions. If one version is not working, the budgie git for some reason does not install, change the script and, and install the budgie desktop. In this case, we've chosen uh, a few months back budgie uh, git, des desktop git, I think it's called. Here it is, budgie desktop git. Because of an issue on the budgie, uh, desktop uh, application. So he says that everything is installed. That that's all we need to know. That's good news, right? So ls then 110. If you want to have sound, preferably we want to listen to some music. Lots of the things have been installed already. That's why it's so fast now. The sound was mainly installed because of whoa because of packages from GNOME, dependencies and all that, you know. So, Bluetooth, if you don't want it, you don't need it, don't install it. Don't use printers, don't install the printers. You might need to install extra drivers for your printer, as do I. Samba is if you want to share a folder for other people on your network. And I'm going to say that person Eric can log in with this password and that password. So the same password. And then you just give it to your brother, sister, father, mother, and they can come to your computer and log in and get the files. LS. This is if you want to go to a NAS server or something else, uh, anything in your network, Max, Windows. Now you can. You see them. And then it's a bunch of software. If you look at the naming, this is coming from the Arch repo. So again, Arco Linux is 90% Arch. And now it's even going to be more in the sense that a lot of packages are coming from Arch in the sense like Firefox, Chromium, GIMP, Inkscape, a uh, lot of them. And they are now being installed. And this is Atom being installed. So let's uh, wait for the installation. All right, so the last one was 200, 300, and let's run the AUR packages. So this is Dropbox I see passing, the Luas, the Conkeys is being installed right now, and so on. Let's wait again for this installation. Maybe just quickly telling you that we do not, um, the scripts are there for your convenience. You know, if you have to type everything again, sudo pacman minus s, and then your Firefox, and then the same sudo pacman minus s, your GIMP. The scripts are there for your convenience to have a faster installation after Arch Linux T. That's why they're there. But you can say, hey, I don't want Firefox or I don't want Chromium, it's just a line to delete, but I would suggest don't delete it, put a hashtag in front of it, it will not be installed. And later on, when you do a git pull again, which is actually something like git clone, but you pull the, the new things that uh, we have changed, then you can compare and can say, okay, uh, Eric has done this or that, and you change and you compare the two files, two folders actually, and say, he has made a new script. Okay, do I want the script? Okay, move it to your folder. And the application to do that is melt. So make the scripts your own. That's the message. A lot of work went into it. Reuse our work, add lines, add applications, delete applications, and reuse it. Save it somewhere, Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, GitHub, why not? There is a tutorial on Arch Linux D, how to use GitHub. Pausing now. 
And then we need to decide if we want to install the virtual box elements. So we say yes. And this means that we're almost at the end. The option why this is says yes is because sometimes people switch from Linux kernel to Linux LTS. And when doing that, it's very important for VirtualBox to get rid of the old uh, version. So that's why we have to say yes. So a hard code fixer is going to fix the PNGs. The icons you see are sometimes hard coded and they'll never change. That's something we need to solve. So last one arrow up 300. Then we go to 400. You read the name and you say, oh, it's coming from Arch, but it's distro specific. So it's um, an, an application that's only used on uh, Budgie or Gnome. Like you see the Gnome screensaver there. We need it to lock your uh, Budgie. So all these things we figure out, it's uh, time well spent. And we use this D as a basis to uh, make our the next one, which is our Arch Linux B. And there we go. But this is then again not coming from Arch, but AUR, the Arch User Repository. Yet is uh, a tool to show you this pop up when you ask for the con keys in, then you get this small window and you choose your icon, your uh, con keys. That's yet, we need it. Then what else? 600 is the most important one. Well, sure, this Arch Linux packages. We have made and created lots of packages starting from September 2017. That was our launch, so we're almost one year old. And all these packages, well, we select them very carefully and say, this will need on Budgie, this will need on Gnome, this will need on i3 and so on. So they have been already selected. It's the proper choice. Um, so that was 600 and then fonts. Without fonts, it would be really ugly. Fonts make up a beautiful desktop. And if you are a fan of Conkeys, you should run this one. Install all fonts needed for Conkeys. So that's done as well. Then we need to auto login. We decide to auto login or not. This means, okay, I let's start again. So 800 is an auto login. If you want to say, yes, I want to boot up my machine and start straight away into Budgie and not into the, the login screen, then you need to tell them, hey, what's your name? Because your login name is going to be added to group auto login. And that's solved. And what else? LS again. If, if you see an error, in the beginning about the microcode, then you can run this script as well. That will fix it. It will do no harm if you run it. Uh, it's just okay. And a fix for the cursor. So breeze snow, we want to have breeze snow everywhere on every application uh, thinkable. So that's done. And now it's time to reboot. This is gonna be the vanilla well, not so vanilla, but regarding themes and icons, it's going to be a vanilla installation, but with, of course, a lot of software already. So this is what you get when you install Arch Linux D, running all the scripts, all the software is there. We install Discord, our channel, to discuss um, issues or report or share something. And then we have all kinds of elements here. So this is phase two and we're conclude, we are going to conclude the video here.